this is a part two for Aquarius. So we had, um, oops, where'd it go? We had an eight of cups. We had as past influence, someone who was losing their self, themselves in order to find themselves, perhaps. We've got two of cups. Wow. Wow. We got two becoming one. We have love. We have self-love is what encouraged these two lovers, these two fish to come together, to become one. Literally, they've become two souls split in one body. This is the twin flame card because it's two souls. One soul split in two bodies. That's the definition of a twin flame. The three of cups, abundance. I also see this as celebrate good times. Come on. And lots and lots of flowers. Sunscreen looks so weird on my face, but oh well. Maybe I'll take it off. <laughs> uh, the Ten of Wands. Oppression. So this, in, this uh, abundance in love is being held back by two um, factors. It's being held back by someone holding them back and also them feeling like a phantom of who they used to be and and coming towards who they're gonna be which is a big transformation but we have um an inspired um princess let's get this It's an invitation to take your spiritual will. Energy, enthusiasm, passion, manifestation, brilliance, daring, and grounding. So I feel like this is going to what nip this divine masculine out of the oppression they feel from outside parties or the dishes or any activities that they feel more compelled to go towards to over you. And also like being stuck in this phantom of who they used to be. And, like, saying goodbye to yourself. It's like when you move houses and you just give the house one last look, you know. So, thank you, Aquarius. Um, this is a beautiful reading. It's going to end with um, energy, enthusiasm, passion, manifestation. And um, the astral signatures are Cancer and Leo. So, maybe a Cancer and a Leo rising are coming together. Um she, this divine masculine is igniting himself with the power of his will alone. He explodes out of the flames with joy and delight, showing the purest enthusiasm and beauty. She's passionate and daring and responsible. So I see like this princess maybe bringing out the same quality within a divine masculine. Because if someone's doing that in front of you, um, it's contagious. So I pray that at 2.52, you in ignite this like joy and delight within the DM so that they contain it within themselves. In Jesus' name, amen.